Okay, so at the start of the year, we had some pretty, you know, strong calls, and some of them were pretty unpopular. So we were um, short dollar long emerging currencies, particularly this part of the world. And emerging uh, currency debt. And emerging currency debt as well, yeah. this part of the world. Um, and we uh, also, we were we were long treasuries as well. We like treasuries and we like gold. And we'd really cut back on equity beta okay. uh, just because of the risk more than anything else. How's that changed? Uh, well, what's changing is that most of the stuff we bought has gone up quicker than we thought it would and further than we thought it would. So we're really selling down a lot of the positions. Not selling out of, but we're really taking profits and a bit more out of gold, out of treasuries, pretty well coming out of the EM bonds uh, mm -hmm. and also getting pretty neutral on emerging market currencies, uh, this region's currencies. So uh, actually just building up cash while we try and figure out what the next steps are. That this was going to be my next question. That is you're <laughs> taking profit, right? And some good calls uh, to, to your credit, MBMG's credit. Uh, but what are you going to do with the money? Uh, really? Cash? Very happy. Look, we wouldn't be surprised if there's a big equity market rally into the end of the year because we wouldn't be surprised if, in, in, particularly in this part of the world, we wouldn't be surprised to see uh, the Japan whales, the GP PIF and the BOJ interfering again, driving the market up. But, you know, that's a trader's market. It's not an investor's market. They're so It's almost like a rigged market in Japan now. You know, there's a there's a crazy guy who's threatening Japan's entire sort of economic existence. But it's not Kim. It's actually, it's Abe uh, with uh, with everything that's going on right there. Nationalizing uh, literally all assets. Huh? <laughs> well, absolutely. Yeah. You know, it's like... Two thirds of Japanese ETFs are now owned by BOJ and GPIF, and and in a lot of companies or a significant number of companies, they own the majority of the free float. So they're owning the market, and yeah. I, I just don't know what the unraveling is from all that. So unless we know what the exit plan is, we really don't want to be part of a rigged market. About